I don't think I'm going to post the last uh, recording that I did not too very long ago. I decided that it was uh, probably not worth it. I missed last week's podcast because I had it recorded and then I lost it because my computer must have restarted or something and my dumbass decided not to save it. And then I re-recorded it and I felt like it turned out better, but then I just felt so bad that I didn't post it on Friday that I tried editing it over the weekend and realized that it was kind of a hot mess. And then I just didn't feel like posting it. So you know what? We're going to restart this and we're going to try it again. Um, I I was going to do this whole 2020 thing about what I did last year, but I just don't think that's interesting enough because I really didn't do anything last year. Nothing is significant, at least. I was pretty lazy. Um, So I don't really want to get on that subject. But I do kind of want to get on the subject of anime because, you know what, let's let's make this week about anime. And I'm going to sum up kind of what I have, uh, I guess, watched so far. Um, now, I didn't watch a whole lot last year, but I did get to watch a few really, really cool animes. Uh, some of them that I haven't finished and uh, two of them so far that I have finished. And I'm planning on doing a longer video, like an actual video about these animes and kind of getting a little bit more in depth. But I wanted to kind of give my thoughts a little bit more about this. Uh, And I figured maybe every other week or something like that, I'll probably dedicate a podcast to uh, what I've been catching up to on anime and uh, or whenever I finish one, maybe I'll just do a podcast about it, too. I don't know exactly how I want to do it, but. This is basically all just kind of off the top of my head anyway. That's kind of how I wanted this podcast to be. So uh, I feel a little rambly, but not too terribly rambly. But regardless, uh, I did finish watching Somali in the Forest Spirit, which was incredible. And I'm planning on doing a much more in-depth conversation about it with a different video. But uh, in my Discord, I actually posted a lot of my thoughts as I was going through the anime. Um, so if you, if you feel like you want to get it earlier than, uh, the video that's going to be coming out probably, I don't know, towards the end of this month or maybe next month, uh, you can definitely join into the discord, uh, links down below so that you can kind of go into the anime chat and maybe even post your own thoughts on it. But it was an incredible anime. I loved it. Uh, I cried quite a few times actually. Um, I'm kind of a baby when it comes to media and any time that something really like soft happens or something very like dramatic happens. I'm so like emotional about it. It's it's a problem that I have with watching a lot of animes, which is turned me off of watching animes before because I always like I feel too much when I watch things and get to know characters. So like when something bad happens to them, I can't do it. It's so hard for me. Um, and Somali in the Forest Spirit wasn't, uh, like, bad in the sense of, of, like, oh my god, this is, like, so angsty, because it really wasn't that angsty, it was more so, uh, it was very wholesome, I would say it's very wholesome, which is a different emotion entirely, but, you know, it was really, really good, I liked the relationship between the two main characters and the people that they met along the way, and again, I'm not gonna get too spoilery, spoily, spoilery, spoilery, you know what I mean, with it, uh, until the actual video comes out, but I thought it was really, really great, um, but aside from that one, I, I, I did finish also watching Beastars, which, again, incredible anime, that one was a lot more angsty than Smalley in the Forest Spirit, it was sort of wholesome at times, but it was very dark, it is a very dark anime, and I cried a lot during that anime. Like, I was a baby bag bitch about that anime, but it was so good, and I cannot wait to start watching the second season. Second season, I'm sure, is going to be just as amazing. Fell in love with most of the characters in that one. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, and I, I feel like it's, it's going to be really, really cool to see where they put these characters that have kind of gone to the back burner because it almost kind of like seemed like they were introducing so many characters at once and I felt so like all over the place about it that it was just oh my god but I don't want to get uh spoily on this one either so next 
was uh, the Misfit of the Demon King. Now, this one I actually binged in two days. It was 13 episodes. I finished this fucking anime within two days because I was so, like, just enraptured with it. I It took a month for me to finish Somali in the Forest Spirit because I was so, like, out of sync with it. But this anime right here, and I'm not saying that this anime is better than Somali in the Forest Spirit because they're two completely different types of anime. But I do feel like I I just kind of connected with this one for some reason. Like, I just couldn't stop watching it. I was watching it while I was working. I watched it right after I was done working and just kept going through it. And then the next day, I like I had actually stayed up until like I think 3 o'clock in the morning finishing this freaking anime because I was so like, oh my god, this is so good. And it's so tropey, and that's the weirdest part. Like, I've always been... I don't know. It's never been a bad thing for me that anime has become tropey, but when it's like excessively so, it kind of gets a little aggravating, but this one did not. I mean, the main character was OP as fuck. And I just, oh, I, I don't even know. I, I think I just like that. Because I love it when main characters get overpowered and they can always overcome adversity. Like, like it doesn't even have to be something along the lines of like, oh my god, they just bowl through everything. But more so the fact that like they know how to take care of stuff. Um, and this one certainly did do that. I mean, it, it had a crazy twisty ending, but it was also really, really good too. It didn't fucking M. Night Shyamalan me. And turn me off from the series. It was actually really decent. Um, I'm waiting to start watching uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Because uh, the second season isn't completely out yet. So I'm going to wait until that's completely out. Uh, I am also waiting until The Promised Neverland. Because I did watch that. I, I'm waiting until that second season comes out. I want to do a video of, of, of these. Maybe, maybe you know what? Maybe I'll do a complete like podcast thought slash idea thing about every single one of these but i wanted to kind of dedicate at least one podcast here that was strictly meant more so for like just explaining what i've been up to lately and the cool things that i've been getting into um i've also been playing uh, a lot more risk of rain risk of rain 2 specifically uh trying to get a little bit more further on that it's been a bit, but uh, I'm finally kind of getting addicted to it again, <laughs> and it's been really, really fun so far, especially playing it with uh, with my buddy Kappa, but yeah, that was pretty much it for anime. Like, I have a lot more that I could talk about, but it's not, <laughs> I don't think it's really worth it, and I really don't have a whole lot of time before the 10-minute mark comes up. Um, there's a lot more that I need to watch. Season 4 of My Hero, or sorry, Season 5 of My Hero is going to be coming out very, very soon. Um, Tower of God, I don't know if that's coming out soon. I think it is. I think it's coming out this year. Um, and then you've got, uh, let's see. I gotta finish Fruits Basket. I need to, there's so many animes that I need to finish. I have a huge, like, watch list. Actually, you know what? I will link my, uh, my anime list if you don't have that. Or if you don't know what that is, I highly suggest if you are an anime watcher, you go on there and you start, like, filling it up with the animes that you've watched. Give them ratings. Uh, put stuff on your plan to watch. Put stuff on your currently watching. And just kind of go crazy with it. I, I feel like I don't update it enough, but I just... I, I, I should do that after I'm done with this. I, sh I should update it. And I'm going to put uh, my link... To my anime list uh, down below in the description. So if you want to see what I'm currently watching, what I've completed, um, stuff that I've dropped, or stuff that I plan to watch, I've got pretty much all of my plan to watch updated on here because me and my buddies with that anime book club, um, which I don't think I, I can't remember if I talked about, um, but the uh, quote unquote anime book club that we've started, which is basically just like we give animes to each other that we uh, have on our plan to watch to watch within one month. And then we kind of convene at the end and let each other know like how it was, what went on and, 
you know, if if somebody's going to watch it, then obviously don't be too spoilery, but, you know, it, it's still pretty decent. It's really fun. It's a great way to watch more anime that I feel like I just, I don't do until, like, someone kind of kicks me in the ass and is like, God, you gotta watch this. So having someone be like, you should watch this and setting up, like, a thing kind of makes me feel like I need to watch it. Um, Right now, I've been watching Dramatical Murder. It is a, I don't know, it's really weird. I'm on episode four, but it's it's a really, really weird anime. I, it's also a game. I think it was a game first before an anime, but it's it's got some, it's got some interesting concepts behind it. I'm still very confused, and I think it's one of those animes that you just have to watch, and things will become clearer as you go along through the series, which has never really been my thing, but... But, I mean, it, it's it's been interesting so far, at the very least. I, I like the main character, and I'm hoping that it doesn't get, like, stupid or have a really, really bad ending, because I, I don't think there's, like, a second season or anything. I think it's just one, like, 12-episode thing. So I'm really looking forward to going through with the rest of that and hoping that I'm not still confused by the end of it. Um... But you know what? Since we are at the 11 minute mark, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Let me know your thoughts on the animes that I listed here, ones that I've watched and completed. If you like have any other really cool animes that uh, you think I should watch, I will definitely let you know if I've watched them or not. Or again, you can go to my anime list and check out the ones that I'm planning to watch and let me know what you think. So. Thank you again for joining, I appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next piece. Peace out.